Allah, and we really like what we saw during practice, and as you know, Blake Bortles really needs a team around him, and we think you're the man for it. You're the man for the job, so come down to Jacksonville and sign your contract. This can't be real. I'm walking on and I'm gonna be third string. I have to prove myself. This is it for me. There's no going back. This is my only option in life. It's go time. So we got our guy recreated, made him a late round draft pick, red zone threat wide receiver, and he will be playing for the Jacksonville Jaguars. You guys see Cecil Shorts and Justin Blackman are ahead of him, but it's not a long way to go. I think in a year or so, or maybe late this season, I could try to maybe compete for that number two or even number one spot. But I wanted to go to the Jacksonville Jaguars because I knew it was going to be a transition. There's no way in heck we're going to win the Super Bowl this year. And that is what I like. That is what makes this series interesting because we're not going to win the Super Bowl right away. It's going to be a process. We're going to have to make and build this team, improve, and all of us are just going to grow up together because there's young talent on this team and the world just simply needs to see us out there on the field. So I'm doing the user catching drill. I think that's what it's called, but it's the only wide receiver Jill available. All you have to do is basically make the catches. And here we are, me and Blake Bortles. We're going to be able to get a gold out of this, which is going to get us uh, a, a lot of XP. So after making this catch, I only had two fails, and we ended up getting a gold. So we're going to go back to the main menu and kick off week number four. This is where I left off last with, last with the Redskins. We got, you know, cut after week three. So, we're going to be in week four right now with the Jaguars. Since we are starting, we're probably only going to see one possession here against the Atlanta Falcons. We check in with about eight minutes left here in the first quarter. And uh, Blake Bortles moving the chains here, third and three. Look at me setting the block, and that is going to result into Toby Gerhardt scoring that touchdown. Blake Bortles taken down for the sack third and 15 now i'm trying to free myself open i did a slant play up the middle a reception is made but it is fourth down so that was my first reception of my career here i am going deep but blake bortles couldn't get rid of it so he got taken down for a second on third and 11 he's gonna look for me here and i made my second reception of my career I even did a spin move right there so big borders right now he's six for six looking good so far and I don't know what he was thinking right here on third and six we're just short so we had to punt the ball which means that the game is basically over for us so I went ahead and simulated hoping that we could at least come away with a win but the Atlanta Falcons just kind of you know beat us that wasn't that wasn't good whatsoever so here's week number one officially we are getting ready to kick off the regular season Blake Bortles is 77 overall he has improved Justin Blackman 86 he's so short 83 I am 75 so to build up your Eagles here in Lincoln Financial Field getting set to take on my squad the Jacksonville Jaguars both coaches ready to go it's a big day the regular season of the NFL is kicking off here well the Sunday games of course and here is our first possession of the day I don't even know what is going on but it does seem like we picked up the first down Blake Bortles for one for when 14 yards now handoff to Toby okay that's not bad he has 12 rushes so far look at Blake Bortles oh there goes my first career reception of the regular season that one actually went for more than 10 yards. I am very happy about it. Let's take a look at that one more time. Look at that reception. Beautiful catch. I was able to secure the ball as well. So here is Blake now. Stepping back, finding Justin Blackman. And we are now at the 25-yard line. Oh, there goes my second catch of my career. And I got popped right there. Now, that is my welcome to the NFL. Bam. Third and 11. Blake looking fine Cecil shorts, but we are going to settle for a field goal. So our first possession was good. We were able to settle for a three-point possession. It's three to nothing now. Let's go ahead and simulate and see when we're gonna be up next. And the Eagles punted us the ball. I 
like this. I like this. Uh, I like the round running here. Oh, let me use my speed. Oh, got him. Touchdown. I mean, who would have thought? I did not think it was going to be this early on, but hey, it happened. But oh no, no, this cannot be happening. Our offensive line has been terrible today. Fletcher Cox gets his first sack of the day. Here comes Blake Boros. Gets taken down by the same guy. The dude has six tackles, two of them for sacks. Please protect Blake. Blake Bortles goes down once again. This time it is tranquil. My oh my, what is going on today? Look at this. Blake Bortles stepping back. No way. I mean, all the momentum has left the building. The Eagles are up 17 to 10. And what the heck is going on? Now, I am... Wait. Wait. Is he hurt? No. Don't tell me he's hurt. Bortles. Blake Bortles is hurt. We could not protect the guy. The dude got taken down for like seven sacks in the first half. And he's injured. So, we're awaiting his status. For now, we have Chad Henney, our quarterback, and we're not getting it done. I mean, momentum has left the building. Here comes Scobie for the field goal, and that is good, though. So we still have a ball game, 13-17. But, man, oh, man, I don't know. I'm playing on all Madden, 10-minute quarters. I think I have to adjust these sliders because right now my quarterbacks are getting destroyed. No protection whatsoever. And here, look at this. A lot of time was left in the pocket, and Chad Henney was able to pick up a first down. So, okay, maybe it's not going to be that terrible. Maybe we won't, you know, surrender any more sacks. I don't know. We'll see going forward. Okay, so I got taken out of the game. We're going to simulate. Are you kidding me? So Chad Henney threw an interception, and... I guess McCoy, Shady McCoy got a touchdown. So it's 24 to 13 now. There goes yet another sack for Cox. That's his like fourth, isn't it? Or fifth. And we're taking a shot deep here. And that is Cecil Short. Nice grab right there by him. Chad Henney. What? Are you serious? Next possession now. After parting the ball, Chad Henney goes down. And Fletcher Cox recovers it right here for the touchdown. Just a horrible day. I think this is even record setting for sacks allowed. Are you kidding me? I mean, this game basically got out of hand. But look at me right here showing a lot of potential. Like I said, it's going to be a, a, a disaster start to the season. But we're going to grow individually as a team. We're going to grow. And that's what this season is all about. We have to progress. You're not going to just come out and just dominate in a league when your team is not ready. And that is what I love about this series. Look at this. I was wide open. That could have been my second touchdown in my career. But it's all good. We're going to learn from this experience. We're definitely going to have to court protect our quarterbacks even better. And we're going to grow as a team. And we're going to shock the world. Trust me. As the Jaguars progress, we're going to learn from our mistakes. And my oh my, week number one was not what we wanted. We lost 34 to 13. Blake Bortles, we're going to be praying for you. We have to check up on that man's status to see when he's going to be making his return. But for now, week number one, we are already into the loss column. Now, as we came back to the main menu, or not really the main menu, but I'm here sitting here just pondering on what just happened. These guys sacked us for like, what, nine, maybe ten times? If not more, I'm a, I don't even think I counted, but I'm just throwing that off the top of my head. Six receptions, 142 yards, led the team today. Next game, I will be playing my favorite team, the Washington Redskins.